when I got up today, I went outside and it was windless again. It was cold. But after debating how cold it was, et cetera, et cetera, I decided I might be able to sneak by because I wasn't going to be in a t-shirt and shorts. I was going to be in blue shirt, uh, blue jeans, a shirt, t-shirt, and a coat. And I got those little gloves I wore. So I decided to go for it. Probably was a little too cold for me, but I got through it. So loaded up the truck. This time I put both the tripod and the telemetry tire in front of the tub that the ground station goes in and stuff and decided to try it that way. It seemed to work. Uh, the mini Talon didn't go in the truck as well as the nano Talon. Who would have thought it was would? Uh, I'll see if I can drive with it like this. I hope a highway patrolman doesn't see it and decide to stop me, but let's see if I can even get the door shut. Don't want to break this. So we'll turn that around and see if we can close the door. The door closed. I'm not real sure about that. It's kind of over in the driver's area a little bit, but we'll see what happens here. If I can't drive it out of the yard, I'll just come back. Pam's doing some side work in Asheville today. I'm solo again and got the truck again. Well, I got it here in one piece. It's a really dreary day but there's virtually no wind the temperature if there was wind would be bad everything went well today except for some of my ground station items and the cold i was only there about 40 minutes and i was a little cold when it came time to leave uh and my ground station equipment, the GoPro camera, ran 20 minutes last time on that battery. Like I said last time, I ordered some more, so they should be here about two days. Uh, and that'll fix that problem. But the GoPro today ran eight minutes. A very short run time before it turned off. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the GoPro video to start with and get that out of the way. So you probably just heard that I started the auto-tune, and with auto-tune I have to bang the sticks right and left to tune the roll. After the roll is tuned, then I bang them forward and backwards to tune the pitch. And that's what's going on here.
heading to waypoint home. Altitude is 136. Ground speed is 41. Roll. Finished. Heading to waypoint home. Altitude is 103. Ground speed is 46. Pitch D 0 0.0361. And I hate it. Right there's where the GoPro battery went. Just didn't get much at all. So I did the auto tune, completed it. Uh, and then I flew a mission. I actually had a mission in the platform for flying at the field today. Uh, and then I did a little free flying, just having fun. Uh, and then packed it up and uh, landed it, packed it up and came home because I was cold. <laughs> it was not, uh, it should have been warmer. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> I set up my uh, cell phone camera today, like I always do, to try to take a video of the takeoff. And Sometimes it's caught the airplane after that. I'm trying to video the takeoff and landing with this particular shot each time. And I always get the takeoff. <laughs> uh, the landing, not so much. I, I wanted to land. You see those two tractor tire marks in the grass on the left third of the picture? And that green, it looks like there's sort of a green circle to me in, in front of that, kind of outlined by the tractor tire on the right. But then like a 20, 30 foot little circle there. That's where I, my, that was my target today. Uh, two days ago, like I say, that brown part in the right third got my eye when I first went out. I didn't hit that green place today. <laughs> So figuring I hit the uh, brown part to the right twice last week just by uh, <laughs> intending to do that from the get-go uh, instead of landing at my feet didn't work today. So we're still working on landing at one's feet. I landed about 30 to 40 feet left of that supposed green circle on the other side of, you can see a little dirt part or it might be that patch. We'll look at it on landing. It might be that patch just on the edge of the left green circle before the dirt. I landed in the right of the dirt. See, this place is great. This place is turf mowed every day that they can mow it it stays the same it's all the same level i mean good lord i'm flying over 50 acres or more of the most perfect place to abort and land if you have to come on this is great anyway i'll show you what the uh cell phone camera caught today So this tripod is my personal cell phone camera. I set it up pretty early in the setup process. It's sitting out there 20, 30 feet away alone, pointed at where I want to take off from and the direction I want to take off from. So I figure out that takeoff direction pretty early. You can change around. The wind changed around a little bit today, but only by about 30 degrees. Um, that camera ran for 28 minutes and 
it did catch the airplane coming through in the view of the sky you can see there but i'm not gonna go back and try to find all of those little things so this camera is just going to be set up each time for takeoffs and hopefully it'll start getting landings in this same camera so i can evaluate them afterwards but let's move on um, let's go ahead and go on to the um, ground station data armed down on the bottom right above the wind speed and direction that 15 is the throttle position heading to waypoint home altitude is zero ground speed is one Mode change to RTL. I'm just a little bit above 50% throttle now, so I think it's pretty good through most of the flight. Heading to waypoint home, altitude is 119, ground speed is 46. Heading to waypoint home, altitude is 137, ground speed is 45. Mode change to FBWA. Mode change to auto tune. Heading to waypoint home, altitude is 89, ground speed is 39. Roll D, 0 0.0034. Roll D, 0 0.0034. Heading to waypoint home, altitude is 136, ground speed is 41. Roll, finished. Heading to waypoint home, altitude is 103, ground speed is 46. Pitch D, 0 0.0361. So I thought I did a good job of keeping it in the fields here that I'm authorized to fly over and uh, get the auto tune done. Heading to waypoint home, altitude is 97, ground speed is 37. Pitch P, 0 0.6053. Pitch, finished. Time for some fun. Mode change to FBWA. I may have jumped the gun and went to fly by wire A too fast there. And I have to do the auto tune again. <laughs> Heading to waypoint home, altitude is 45, ground speed is 50. Uh, let me insert right here. This is the mission I set up before I went to fly. This is the home position or takeoff position. I think I was over in this area here when I uh, invoked the mission. So this is the first waypoint. It's just going out. I was wanting to get a 
kind of a look at this field line down through here because I don't think I should be flying over this property. And then I wanted to see kind of a look at the road. And this hilltop right here is actually about 200 feet up near the top. It's, it's under 200 feet, but it's more than my 120 foot uh, return to home. So if I was ever over in here behind this and for some reason it invoked return to home on itself, it would fly into the trees here. That's the kind of stuff I'm trying to figure out. And I just wanted to come to the center of this field to get a look at it, what was surrounding it. Not any houses in there. And then this back to the this field. And just put in a couple several waypoints here so that the uh, platform would have enough of them to fly back towards home here, but cut back into this field again and come back over here and invoke return to launch at the end of that. All done at 200 feet in the air. So that's what you're getting ready to see. Mode change to auto. Heading to waypoint one. Altitude is 87, ground speed is 30. So that house straight ahead seems to be a residence. The buildings on the left, I think, are all storage buildings for the tractors and stuff for this particular sod company. Six. And there's those trees, and they're not that far below me at this point, so. Heading to waypoint three, altitude is 202, ground speed is 41. Look at this field. Wouldn't you just hate to have to land there? <laughs> Heading to waypoint 4, altitude is 206, ground speed is 32. Back across the creek to the home field. <laughs> Yeah, how about that? The pan assembly works. We also have a checklist now called Mission Objectives. <laughs> You're supposed to do an auto-tune on this flight. Try the pan and tilt. No, I just didn't have enough battery to try that auto takeoff again. <laughs> but it works, and I remembered to try it. <laughs> Heading to waypoint 5, altitude is 209, ground speed is 31. Back over into the big field. Uh, that's just uh, barns and stuff there. I won't be bothering anybody in that direction. Head to home field and uh, return to launch. Heading to waypoint 7, altitude is 218, ground speed is 29. Mode change to RTL. Mode change to FBWA. Heading to waypoint 8, altitude is 54, 
Ground speed is 49. Right back into some fun flying. Heading to waypoint 8, altitude is 43, ground speed is 39. Heading to waypoint 8, altitude is 38, ground speed is 46. Heading to waypoint 8, altitude is 26, ground speed is 46. Heading to waypoint 8, altitude is 40, ground speed is 35. Heading to waypoint 8, altitude is 58, ground speed is 41. Heading to waypoint 8, altitude is 45, ground speed is 40. Heading to waypoint 8, altitude is 0, ground speed is 8. Disarmed. And that was how the day went. I kind of enjoyed it. <laughs> Saved away my perimeter so I didn't lose my PID tuning. And that was it for the ground station. Boy, I don't know if I should do this or not, but I think I'm going to try to let the plane be in the back of the truck right there and drive slow because it's cold. <laughs> we'll see what happens. No, it's rocking around already in that little breeze. I can't do that. You thought I forgot about the run cam video, didn't you? <laughs> Okay, I don't like that wind sound, so I'm going to cut that way down. I will leave it in this video, but I'll figure out what I'm going to do with it in the future.
So that's it for now. Uh, I will probably put that 4K video together as one video and post it separately. But other than that, that's how my day went today. And the mini Talon, I'm going. I think I'm going to have to do redo that tuning. Uh, when I save or load those parameters right now, it says that the P value for the pitch is out of range. I think that may have been because I cut to fly by wire A too quick after the uh, auto tune said the P was tuned. Uh, somebody told me that you have to wait kind of 10 seconds or so. Not sure I waited 10 seconds. I was really too eager to do some fun flying. So I may have to redo that tune. I will if it continues to tell me that the value is out of range when I load or work with that uh, parameter list for the uh, mini talent. But other than that, I, you know, I'll go do them auto tune again i think the tune that's on it would work for flying it around for a while until the winds are common enough to redo the auto tune so i don't think it'll keep me from flying uh, but one of the first flights i would like to redo the auto tune just be a little less anxious to go into another mode there all right thanks guys